about seven miles away from the airport, horror struck again when a bomb exploded on a rush hour subway train near the European Union headquarters. It happened about an hour after the airport blast. Alan Pizzi is at the Malbec subway station. <laughs> Minutes after an explosion ripped apart a rush hour subway train in central Brussels, passengers scrambled to safety in near pitch dark. Smoke billowed from the station entrance as day's commuters streamed out. The explosion went off barely an hour after the airport attack. The mangled remains of the cars were graphic evidence of why there were so many horrific casualties. Some of them had to be treated in the street. Many had what appeared to be serious head injuries. Emmanuel Batio arrived during the aftermath. You, you see it in movie, but you cannot imagine when you see people yelling uh, like they, they were, they are going to, to die. And you don't know, you, don't know you, you feel like you are raging. Lachlan Carmichael was on another train in the tunnel. And we received a big blast of air and the train stopped. Your attention, please. And we had the normal recording announcements. Uh, we've just had an incident on the line. Passengers told me inside they felt very nervous, very worried. Police and soldiers flooded the area. The station is only about 400 yards from the European Parliament building, and the area is considered among the most secure in the Belgian capital. But this is a city that lives with a major terrorist threat in its midst. It emanates from here, the suburb of Molenbeek, that is known to have sent at least 30 foreign fighters to Syria. Many of the Paris terrorists lived and plotted the November attacks in the neighborhood. In the wake of today's bombings, the authorities asked people to limit their travel around the city. That has now been lifted, but the Belgian Crisis Center warned that the threat of future attacks is, quote, real and serious. Elaine? Uh, Alan, how long will these metro stations be closed? Well, actually, two of the lines have been reopened already, Lane. They were open late this afternoon. The other ones will stay closed for a little longer. Uh, obviously, on this one behind me, there's quite a bit of damage uh, down in that basement. They've got to clear the, the wrecked car and so on. But, you know, it's interesting. The city did not go on to a full lockdown. Uh, people, when I came in here, people were going about their business in so much as they could, albeit on a limited basis. Uh, you know, the attitude here is you just have to keep going because if you give up, the other side wins. So it's a city that's obviously nervous. And people are going to be cautious, but they're, they're not acting terrified, Elaine.